everyone. So, uh, it's the second full Sunday run. Now this is actually Saturday and we started. I started on Saturday from Avalon and I've been running for about five hours. This is my first stop. I have about 34 kilometers behind me uh, and still uh, probably at least 12 hours to go and probably more. Now, uh, I've been running at night and uh, until an hour ago I had rain and uh, it didn't stop. It's still extremely wet and it's supposed to be raining again soon so I'm charging my, my iPhone uh, as fast as I can. Now what's complicated is when it's raining I actually cannot manipulate my iPhone, the screen does not react. So I have to use Siri to open the GPS application where the maps and it's really complicated, I can't really take photos, I can't check the, much of anything, I just have the voice from the Endomondo app that tells me every two kilometers uh, my speed and how much is left, etc. Now, today is Sunday and I have a complicated place I'm going to. I'm going to Chateau Chinon. I have changed my plans. I calculated the distances and it was way more than I expected until Luzi, where I wanted to take the train. So either I, I have to stop earlier and uh, hitchhike, but I'm going to try and go to Chateau Chinon. Uh, the problem is Chateau Chinon has no trains and there is one bus at half past 4 p.m. So either I catch it or I have to hitchhike, but I should have good luck, there is a big road and uh, there are trains until 9 p.m. from Nevers where um, the bus is going. Now, I don't know if I'll get there in time. Thing is, uh, right now, um, I, I haven't had um, have some, some pills called Stop Cramp. It's basically magnesium and it helps evacuate the toxins, it helps uh, the muscles um, recuperate faster and I've started the run with already my muscles aching and uh, at this level uh, I had um, I, I did some exercises at my uh, physiotherapist and uh, it's still uh, it didn't uh, get back to normal so I'm going in without some ammunition which is the stop cramp pills and I can feel it so it's really harder than usual I really regret not having it so 35 kilometers is I estimate about one fourth it's basically a uh, the way I try to calculate to, to go to go on. Now I'm trying to keep it as as short as possible this rest because uh, if it if it lasts too long I just I won't be able to uh, to get in time. I'm still not sure about the exact distance so I have to finish calculating that little part which was an option at the beginning. So I, I laid two, three different paths and this one I just have to finish, there's a small piece uh, so that's it, uh, now it's been really hard it's cold, uh, it's 2 a.m. and I'm, I'm getting sleepy I just want to, to go to bed and uh, you know lay down and, and I, I don't know how I'm going to keep on going this is the, the longest run I've done I'm planning on doing and I hope I will be able to, to go on. Uh, so that's it. Uh, it's a really hard run. And the conditions are not great. So it's not too cold for now. I'm about 13 degrees, I think. But uh, everything is wet. My whole thing is wet. I'm, uh, so, uh, 
we'll, we'll see how it goes. All the roads are just uh, water everywhere. It, it has transformed into streams of water. Uh, so it's a bit complicated. Now this is actually I didn't expect it to be, but this has become the most technical run I've had until now, and the reason is water. Uh, it was raining, it's raining so much that uh, the stony roads are getting uh, impracticable. I have to slow down. I have to check everything. I have to pay a lot of attention to every detail, not to sleep. So that's it. Uh, now I. Uh, thanks for your messages and I hope to see you soon.